Kent State will try and slice into a six-point lead. The share closed out Thal, talked her out of the three. Kelly got away with a little push off, got her own miss, and the second effort is there. All the flashes needed that one, Matt. Absolutely, that was a really great sequence there by Claire Kelly, showing some real determination, grit. She missed it, she followed her shot. You don't see a lot of that anymore. She pulled down her own rebound and put it back up and in. 10 to shoot. Every possession critical here. Oh, great pump fake by Kelly. She had all kinds of bulls flying by her. Kelly banks it home. She has seven. They're seeing a good one tonight in the MAC opener. UB by four. Kelly calls Sports Center. <laughs> Off the glass and down the hatch, Claire Kelly with nine points. Well, that's her second. Team foul number three, the Claire Kelly scoop. Man, I'll tell you what, getting past Jasmine. Claire Kelly lobs it in. Thal has it on the baseline, back to Kelly. Lays it up and in. The flashes have won. One second on the clock, and they will check this. But the flashes lead 64-63. We'll see it again right here. Holy play call. Everyone in the state of Ohio thought Lindsey Thaw was somehow going to take it, but Claire Kelly, out of nowhere, has been using the finger roll to her advantage tonight. She does it here. We talked about it before the play, Dave. A lot of players on this Kent State team can't hit that big time shot. Claire Kelly just did it right in front of our eyes. Young. Looks to throw it in. It's Winfield, one dribble, the shot, it's off the mark. And now we can say it, the Flashes win. Not a bad look. Winfield jogging off the floor and to the locker room before the handshakes. Now the teams will go through the line after a classic Mac battle between the Bulls and the Golden Flashes. Winfield off the mark. She was frustrated at the miss. And it all came back to this last play, Matt, between Thal and Kelly. What a shot. What a shot. What a